Do what you can with what you have with where you are. I'm Anthony and I'm gonna take you through today's PF Go workout. We're gonna start our warm up with two rounds of 10 alternating Spider-Mans, 15 calf raises and 20 tuck jumps. So here we go. We're gonna have those hands reaching out in front of you. We're gonna have one leg up by your hand. You're gonna reach up and then reach down towards the floor. So what we're gonna do is one, then switch legs and go back to the other. Each time you reset to a plank position before going to the other side. Now 10 reps is five on each arm alternating, right? Not 10 on each arm in total. Now, we're gonna stand up, put our feet together, put our hands on our hips and do calf raises. This is a relatively simple movement, but we wanna focus on your posture. Eyes forward, shoulder blades back, chest up nice and tall, working just like that. Perfect, 15 reps, nice and easy. Now, jump taps. We're gonna stay in that same position for the calf raises. You're gonna jump, tap, jump, tap, jump, tap. We wanna make it nice and even. Jump, tap, jump, tap, jump, tap. It's a little bit tricky to get used to as you go. Now, from here, what we're gonna do is move on. After one more time through, we're gonna grab a barbell and do some snatch work. Now, what's a snatch? A snatch is where you take the bar or the weight from the ground all the way up and overhead in one smooth movement. That differs from a clean, because in a clean you catch it on your shoulders, stop, and then we drive it up. So those are two separate movements. So one smooth movement from the ground up and overhead. Now what we're gonna do is set your hands out nice and wide, even wider than that. When your arms are out nice and straight, if you pick one leg up, that should not move. Versus, can you bring your hands in really close together? See if she picks her leg up, that bar really has a lot of movement to it. So we want those hands wide enough that when you lift up, it sits right in that hip pocket. Okay, now from this wide grip, we're just gonna do 10 deadlifts. We're gonna lower that bar down your thighs, we're gonna go to mid shin and stand on back up. Unlike a regular deadlift, you're gonna keep the chest up a little bit higher as you work. As you lower down, the eye should stay up and forward. Very nice. Okay, now from here, we're gonna do snatch grip, high hang, high pulse. So this time, we're gonna lower down to the top of the knee. This is gonna be our go position. You're gonna stand up, you're gonna shrug, you're gonna lead with those elbows, and then lower right back down. That's one. Good, can you show it to me a little faster? Pop and down, excellent. Just the way that we wanna do it. 10 reps, the lower body should propel the weight up, the upper body should guide the weight to where it needs to be. Now we're finally gonna finish with muscle snatches. So we're gonna go back down to that knee position. You're gonna come up, shrug high pull. Now you're just gonna keep folding until your arms lock out all the way up and overhead. Pull, 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 good. This is hard at a light weight. If it's easy at a light weight, you're probably uh, dipping underneath of it. So what we wanna do is, can you do a power snatch for me? Up, drop, stand. We wanna avoid that dip. So once you go down, pull, stand. Once you lock things out, that's it. So we'll go through the snatch deadlifts, the high hang pulls one more time, and the muscle snatches again before moving on to our conditioning piece for today. Now, we're conditioning in a single or double workout, two movements at the same time. So what we're gonna do is do a little bit more technique work in that snatch. So before our conditioning, we're gonna do a 12 minute running clock, building up to a triple snatch, so that when we go to the conditioning piece, it's nice and easy. Now, on a 12 minute running clock, about every two minutes or 90 seconds or so, I want you to do three reps. The reps are gonna come from the ground. So at the bottom, that bar should not touch your shin. You're gonna come up slow. As soon as you cross the knees, bang, everything goes fast. Now you saw in her catch position, instead of pulling, locking, and holding, what you're gonna do is come up and drop underneath just a little and stand up. So we have slow, fast, drop, and then stand back up. So that's one, then we'll take it back down and do two more. Our focus is on creating that separation from the ground or that mid shin to the knees is nice and slow holding your position. From the knees to the pull, we're accelerating as fast as we can. As soon as that bar stops, you don't try and keep muscling it up, you drop underneath of it. So we're creating some finesse here. So we'll do about five to six sets of three just to get you warmed up. We're going heavy, but not super heavy. This is a moderate load. It should feel heavy. As long as your technique is dialed in, we can push it. This is a technique first focus. Now what we're gonna do is deload. The weight's gonna go way down. We have a workout called Ava today. 
So Ava is named after a, I believe she's five years old. She was a five-year-old diagnosed with leukemia and Ava was born at 2.53 in the morning. So this workout is gonna be 20 minutes and 53 seconds. That's where the name comes from. She's all in remission now, but we're gonna do this workout in her honor and to honor children who have leukemia. So what we're gonna do here is for that 20 minutes and 53 seconds, you're gonna start each round with a 400 meter run. That should take you about 90 seconds. At the gym, we'll go out the door, down the ramp, around the corner to Thomas to Mead, and come on back in. If you're doing it at home, just give yourself a 90 second jog. Then you're gonna come in and you have 21 light snatches. Now these are still gonna be power snatches. Can you face this way for me? I'm gonna have Marissa cycle five reps. So you go down, every rep touches the ground, you snatch, stand, and then bring it right back down. Snatch, stand, and down. The idea here is that these are quick, they follow the same pattern slower from the ground up, snap it, once the weight stops, you drop underneath. We wanna make sure that you're using your legs as much as you possibly can here. I don't want you just bending over at the waist and pulling that up. It's gonna be a, uh, a hard habit to avoid because of how many reps we're doing. 400 meter run, 21 snatches. These are not done unbroken, these are done in three sets each time. I would go seven, 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 or eight, seven, six. In the first couple rounds, you can go 11 and 10, but that might be a little bit aggressive. This is a long workout. Pace it out, take it slow, and then gradually pick up speed as you find more and more comfort here. Have fun with Ava. I wanna know how many rounds you complete. Let us know in the comments below. Have a great workout and a great rest of your day.